Hello, have a nice day. We will continue our demo in using this 2-in-1 tester. Now I will explain to you how ring tester works. Ring tester is a high inductive coil tester. It's an inexpensive and effective way to test any high inductive components like flyback transformer, deflection yoke, and SMPS, or chopper transformer of switching mode power supply of DVD, LED TV, CRT TV, computer, printer, and many more. At the right side of a panel, an A LED indicator are used to display the status of coil winding if open, shorted, or partially shorted. From the bottom panel there are three red LED. That indicates if coil is bad or shorted. Yellow LED indicates a lower coil inductance or partially shorted. Green LED is an indicator that coil is good. Now we will start analyzing the winding of this three components. Flyback transformer. Chopper transformer. In deflection yoke. They are all high inductive coil and transformer because of nature. Of their design, they operate in high frequency application. And the core is made of ferrous and non-magnetic unlike linear transformer. Before using this ring tester, first short the test probe red LED must off. This lowest red LED is indicator if coil is bad winding or totally shorted. This yellow LED indicates if coil has low inductance or partially shorted. This green LED indicates good winding and high inductance coil. Before testing first, short the test probe of ring tester red LED must be off. After you make sure that probe connector is working you can start the testing. This is a pen diagram of a flyback transformer. Collector B plus line 180 volts or boosted B+. These are the three primary winding of FBT that you have to test. Secondary winding, automatic brightness limiter, ground, heater, and high voltage coil to CRT second anode. All this winding at the secondary coil is okay if primary winding passed the test. Take note that only coil is tested okay by ring tester. Any problem like arcing of high voltage defective screen and focus control is not included. Now we'll start testing the primary coil. You'll see that all LED lights glows up to green. You will notice that some pins have different results of lead that glows. Some have red LED some have yellow, that is normal as long as there is green LED glowing. 
Remember that not all winding inside transformer has the same inductance in different number of turns. Now let's try to wind few turns of coil at the core of FBT and let's see what happened. If we short this winding outside the core, emulating for example the winding. As you can see a good winding inside the flyback without any short. All LED glows up to green, meaning there is no short or partial shorted of coil. Now let us short this few turns of wire outside flyback transformer and observe. You will see that primary winding also affects its inductance. By few shorted turns of wire, inside to coil, it cannot be detected by simple resistance testing only, because all results are shorted. The lesser number of turns shorted the more LED will turn off. The more number of turns shorted the lesser LED will turn off. Checking a chopper track. See you next video. Shout out to Sir Lovely Technician. Sir Majajo's Technique. Sir Jeffrey Padlin. Sir Ronald Quevelas. Narciso Calderon. Marion Calderon. To God be the glory.